All right, let's see what we have here today. This is a C box center console. As you see, this thing is absolutely chopped. We're gonna be doing the outside, inside walls. You know we are gonna be seeing this. <laughs> that is a must. We're gonna restore this. Take all these old stickers off. Our customer wants to leave that M right there on the back. He had the new seat put in. That's really nice. I love that. But yeah, we're gonna be wet sanding all the walls in here. Um, of course, you know the outside. First, we're gonna wash it. As you see, there's a lot of mold stuck in there. Gonna restore all that, wet sand all that. All right, so let's head up and get something to eat. So we got energy to do this. Oh yeah, I'm gonna take the pin stripe off too. Gonna go get us a roll of 3M tape. Go ahead and tape off this rub rail. It's like 15 bucks a roll, but oh my gosh, that tape is so worth it. The edges on it is just amazing. So yeah, make sure you keep watching and let's see how this bad boy turns out. y'all i got uh half of this side done where all that mold was i still got some spots uh some of this is so embedded in there i'm just gonna have to wet sand it off we're gonna be wet sanding in here anyways so you can see where i got that and yeah that's how bad it is it is super super dry it's in there pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and spray this down let it soak with purple powder and don't dish soap because I want it to, I mean, I would use bleach. I know it don't matter because I'm wet sanding anyways, but I really don't feel like smelling bleach and uh, getting on my clothes. So, and plus, if you do use bleach, make sure you always dilute it. You don't want to use straight up bleach, trust me. Okay, all right, let's get started. Okay, we got most of that mold off the surface. If you look in some areas, I couldn't get it all the way, like I said before, but it's a lot better and it's gonna save a lot more time wet sanding. All that mold's not gonna come up and uh, collect the paper. I went ahead and cleaned all in there for them. Um, got up here. Got everything. I'm gonna have to come back here with some kind of uh, the greaser, that purple power is not strong enough and get that grease off for them back here, but I'll we'll have to start wet the outside and move to the inside. Hey y'all, we washed it. We got all the inside done uh, with washing too. So we're now wet sanding with a thousand, we got two thousand, three thousand. Um, there's a lot of oxidation on this for sure. So we got the short throw on about two or three. You want to do that with sand and you don't want to go too fast. Or we're working on getting the shadow at the bottom where the pinstripe was. And we did take off the whole entire pinstripe. Uh, and we also took the decal off back here. Just going to keep the M right there like I said. But, yep.
wife by the way, that's insane. As you keep going, you can feel the surface smooth up a lot, and that's what you want. You're opening up this core. Yeah, ain't no level R and 3M getting that off. I don't care. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna take a long time, but still, it's still gonna come back because no white compound is gonna eat through all this dead layer of oxidation. I don't care what anybody says out there, they just say that to get me clips in the video. A lot of people get shooted when they're looking for somebody to restore the boat. Because a lot of people don't want to do this, it's a lot of work. The arms are very sore. There's another uh, sponge in there and you have to cut it. The scissors in that little drawer. Yeah, I can't tell y'all the customers we had come to us and say, uh, yeah, I had somebody else do it and uh, a week or two later it came back. Just so they didn't do it right. Even some people that do wet sand, if there's many people out there, um, they'll sit here and do 600 or 1,000 grit and then jump to the compound and wax it and call it a day. And the sun hits the boat and all you see is a bunch of, a bunch of coral. <laughs> a bunch of holograms and don't look good at all. People just want to jump to the fun part. Just come down this time. You don't want to do the hard work. You want to make sure your arm's sore and your whole body hurts. I mean, keep going up like we're there, not bothering you anymore. But it still is a lot of work. Okay. Okay, now for this section right here that I'm about to do, we're going to train out our piece of sandpaper. Close to really see it. Not well, shit. Dang white fell off again. Hold on. I swear I've been like some once. You come in with two and three thousand, you're really gonna want to put some pressure on there and get out these scratches that are going in it from hand sanding. And when we go to the compound, okay, look, that's the first layer I just took off. You don't want to, you don't want to keep going. You don't want to rinse that off and rinse the pad and do it again. Now when we got a compound, we are going to, wow, it's raining, hold on. We're going to tape off this rub rail. Now, a lot of other boats, you don't really have to worry about taping off the rub rail because it's not all rubber like this is on this boat. It's usually like a chrome strip. Oh, you can just hear the, yeah, you can hear the dryness. Now the bottom of the boat wasn't bad. It wasn't as bad as the top and the inside of the boat. And I believe that's because how small the boat is and the shape of it. And most of the sun hit the top and the inside because it's very open in there. It's like very crusty. You like the crusty crab. <laughs> you 
Now in this lift I'm working on, you do have to push your thumb down in there to get it real good. We are going to tape off the edges of the right work. I'm going to come down. Don't want to get black everywhere if possible. Okay. I think I'm going to change my face because this is completely topped out. You can feel the gritness of it. It's gone. It turns into more of a 2000. Well, why don't you just use a thousand hole? Because you don't. Just spend the money. There's no way compounder wax is going to cut this. No matter how uh, aggressive the compound says it is, even level R, it's not going to do it. I think it is. Go ahead and do it and tell me how it works out for you. You know, it's like people that tell you, uh, you want me to rinse that? Yeah, I'm going to rinse your pie. It's like people that tell you, um, bug spray and toothpaste will restore your headlights. It's hilarious. It's not going to do that. Unfortunately, old people fall victim to that. Uh, nonsense. <laughs> It's not mean, it's the truth. It's not just old people, it's uh, younger people too. I'll tell you what, this is a dead, dead layer up here. Yeah, that's, I think it's the worst one we've ever done. That's fine, we love it. Okay, so I just want y'all to see the difference right quick. We have not wet sand this at all. God, I wish y'all could like jump out of the phone and feel this because it's just so dry. I mean, even washing didn't take all the stuff out. Okay, now look at the difference of where we have wet sanded. It's nice and smooth. My finger just flies across. It's a huge difference. You see the shine with the water. That's how good it's gonna look but better once we compound it and polish it and seal it at the end. Yeah, we got all up here wet sanded. I mean, you can just see the difference. That's amazing. So always make sure you wet sand.
top side of the road and clean the top for sure. Thousand will work. It's going to take longer. It's going to be faster. You know, they have to come with thousand, two thousand, and uh, three thousand. So when you get on these little edges right here, you want to keep this moving fast because if you stay on the edge too long, it'll take off the gel coat. Nothing new at 600.
Hey y'all, it's day three. I just finished up the whole entire inside with uh, hand sand and went 600. Now I'm about to do a thousand and uh, two and three thousand. Uh, you can see I got on the cracks around here, around this little lid right here. I got all up in here. I cut the windshield off so I can have more workspace up here. All in between there. I took the screws off the front right here. I mean, you can see how much better it is. Maybe you can in the video. It's so smooth. But you don't want to leave it like that. You want to jump in with higher grips or newer scratches from 600. These screws came out. I'm not being able to record much because my um, tripod broke and it's been raining so I don't want to get the phone wet. So let's go ahead and finish this off with some hard grit. Okay y'all I have finally finished up this inside with 2,000. Tomorrow I'm going to finish with 3. Um, it, oh my god. This is gonna look so good. So smooth. It's gonna look amazing. You can just see it there in the light. We got all that off. The reason you know we got all the oxidation off is because the water's not getting sucked into the uh, gel coat. It's just sitting there. Got all in here really good. This thing's gonna look so damn wet. Mm. That's gonna look good. All right, stay tuned. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, in this little clip right here, we already compounded this whole entire uh, outside on the exterior. Barry's now polishing while I start to compound on the inside. My phone had died, so that's why I didn't get to record that part. But yeah, stay tuned. When working in little areas like this, like I am uh, around the rope rail, you really want to be cautious and keep the RPMs down. This is an area where I would turn the RPMs up to uh, 1200 or 1800 like we would the rest of the boat. Uh, just working in the best you can and don't turn it up. Uh, I mean, we do turn it up, but you really have to use caution because if you hit that rope rail, I'll, I'll tell you what, you are really going to regret it.
y'all we started on the inside look how amazing that is we ain't even polished it yet you can see i ain't got way down there i haven't started on this side but i started right here got the polish i'm gonna have plenty of videos and pictures in the daylight right in the sun because we don't post our work in the shade or in garages it's amazing oh my gosh entire inside done all we got left in here is this the compound and then we're gonna polish everything you know we're going in with level R we took out all the screws we could we sanded in here what sanded in here with 600 thousand two thousand three thousand you want to dot it around first a lot of people want to say that three thousand is unnecessary to wet sand but no, I would honestly suggest doing 3000. You don't have to, but it makes the surface so smooth and it saves a lot of time when you go to polish. And it really puts in that extra gloss. And plus this goes a long way too when you go to spread it on there. Okay, we already got our pads spread out. Put it on 600, you can do six or a thousand. Work it in first and then turn it up. Now let me go on the side of the side of you. It's easier to see white when you're looking at it sideways.
RPM to 1800. Angle over here. Sit down. See, you see the trees yep. higher and you go down. <laughs> <There's nothing. laughs> so, we're going to finish up this whole entire center console. Kind of polish the clouds. It. Yep. You're going to polish it. When you put your screws back in, you want to use some thread seal and stuff. You don't want to just put screws in alone. Keep water from going in there. I'm just kidding. He does mostly the uh, exterior. I'm taking a break. My back's going in. Lock Plus. It is so smooth, y'all. You remember how dead this was? Oh my gosh. Like I said, we hit the whole entire top at 600. 
one with a thousand, two with three thousand. Um, the bottom, we only had to do a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Three thousand isn't really necessary, but to get the results that we get, if you want it super glossy and shiny, oh my gosh, just do three thousand at the end. Don't take that long. It makes the polish process so much quicker too. You're gonna get so much more of a gloss. Oh my heart. Now, if you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps us so so very much. And if you want to achieve results like this, just follow the steps I put in the video. It's really that simple. Anybody can do this. It's just that a lot of people don't want to do it. Okay, they don't want to wet sand. So just make sure you wet sand. It will be okay. Thank you. All right, y'all, here's another clip from before we started, before we touched the boat, washed it, anything. And I'll go ahead and put in a whole after video after this clip. All right, y'all, that is it. This boat took exactly six full days to do and a little over $300 in product. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so, so much. Say thank you, Barry. Thank you. <laughs>